Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer the Vroid Studio 3D avatar into Blender 4.1 by using a direct method. That means you directly import the VRM file from the Vroid Studio into Blender 4.1 without other third party software. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. All right, first, before you start, you need to have the add-on. The, the add-on name is VRM add-on for Blender. All right, you can get this add-on, the zip folder from my video descriptions. You can just scroll down to get it first. And now I'm going to open the, I'm going to open the Blender 4.1. The Blender 4.1 for today, it's the ver the latest versions now is April 2024. Alright, first you have to install the VRM add-on plugin. Just click edit preferences. Sorry. The edit preferences, then go to the add-ons, click install, and direct select the zip folder that you had downloaded just now. Double click. Then make sure that you tick import export VRM format. Then make sure it already activated, then close. Now you can just check in your blender. You can click file import. Now the VRM file is available. So I'm going to test it. First, I'm going to open the Vroid Studio. For today's, the latest version is 1.27. I get started, I agree. I skip this. I just choose a random 3D avatar that already pre-built it inside the Vroid Studio. And I'm going to show you the first step. You have to just click here, then export as VRM. Then wait for a few seconds, click export here. The title, you can just type the model. The creator, put your own name. Then scroll to the bottom, click export. Then just wait for a few seconds. It is pop out and export options. You have to choose the locations. I'm going to choose desktop. The file name is model.vrm. I click save now. Minimize it. Now you can see the VRM file is already exported here. Then back to the Blender 4.1. I press A to select everything. I press delete button to delete it. Then click file, import. VRM from my desktop, double click the model. Now you can see it already imported. And then at this moment, you can just click here to turn on the texture. And now I can see this is a piece of mesh that's unwanted. So this one, unwanted. I just click delete. All right now, I'm going to try the facial expressions, check the shape key. Just have a look. For example, the angry morph, the shape key, fonts, all right, everything worked properly. Then so I try the armature. This is the skeletons. I click here to turn on the viewport display, make it in front. So I'm going to test it one by one. So I choose the post modes. I click and then try to rotate it. All right, it's okay. Everything worked properly. Next is the eyes. I try to turn on the name, look at which one is the eyes. So this is the eyes. So this two, I select and hold the shift, select another one. I try to rotate the eyes. You can see everything can work properly. I can rotate the eyeball. All right, everything success. You can just save this as a Blender project file. Click file, save as. On my desktop, this is model. All right, it is quite easy to do this, all right? This is how I'm going to export the VRM from the Vroid Studio and direct import into Blender 4.1 and make it become a 3D model that ready for animations in Blender 4.1. However, if you want to get an FBX file, you want to make the Vroid Studio VRM to become an FBX with embedded texture or what we call the embedded material. This is not covered in this tutorial, but if you want to learn this, the Vroid Studio 2 FBX with embedded texture, you can check my another tutorial. You can check my video description. I already put the tutorial links at there and everything will show you the step-by-step. -step. How are we going to get the FBX? 
So from this case, from today's tutorial, if you direct file exports FBX, then all of the material texture will lost. So this tutorial is only suitable for those who want to use the VRM as the 3D avatar in your Blender 4.1 without involving the FBX or any third party software. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on Fiora Studio to Blender 4.1, the direct methods. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, or sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to turn on all the notifications so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you.